Hi there. Now, in this video, what I want to do is extend the chain rule, which you should already be familiar with, dy by dx equals dy by dt times dt by dx, where t is some function of x. So if you're unsure of this, do go back and check out my first tutorial in this series on this. Now what I'm going to do now though is take this further and we're going to look at compound exponential functions. All of these examples that you see here are based around the form y equals a constant, which I'll call a e to the power t, where t is some function of x. In this example, you can see that a would be 3 and t would be x squared. In this one, a would be minus 5 and t would be the function of x, 3x plus 2. And when it comes to functions like this, this can be rewritten as 5 times e to the power minus 2x. So t would be the minus 2x here. And you could do a similar thing with this. I'll leave this for now. You might want to try this one later. And I'll just take this out, okay, in case you want to try this one later. So going back to the chain rule, we should be familiar with differentiating y equals a e to the power t with respect to t, dy by dt. It's a standard result. The result is dy by dt equals the same thing again, a e to the power t. So we use the chain rule then. For this first one, I'm just going to write this in, but if you had looked at my earlier tutorials, you'll know that I'm trying to encourage you to do this in your head. But we would let t equal the x squared. And so therefore, what we've got is y equals 3e to the power t. So it's got this form here. So when it comes to working out dy by dx, and remember, I would encourage you to be able to do this step straight off, okay? What we do is we see this as y equals 3e to the power t. We do dy by dt, and what we get back is 3e to the power t. So we would write 3e, but instead of the t, clearly we'd write x squared. I'll put that in brackets, so that is dy by dt, and now we need to multiply it by dt by dx. So we differentiate the thing we call t, which is x squared. And if we differentiate x squared with respect to x, we get 2x. And so all we do now is just clean this up. 3 times 2 is 6, so we've got 6x e to the power x squared. Okay? So you might want to have a go at these ones. So just give you a moment to pause the video if you want to have a go. Okay, welcome back then. If you had a go at these, let's see how you got on. So for this one, remember, I'm going to let t be the 3x plus 2. So when it comes to differentiating this, going straight off, okay, dy by dx would equal dy by dt, so we've got minus 5e to the power t, so that when differentiated is going to be minus 5e to the power t, t being the 3x plus 2. Now we multiply this by dt by dx, so we differentiate 3x plus 2 with respect to x, and that gives us 3. And cleaning this up gives us a final result of minus 15, e to the power 3x plus 2. All right? Now for this one here, remember when I started the video, I showed you that this could be written as equaling 5e to the power minus 2x. So the t here is the minus 2x. So when it comes to dy by dx, dy by dx would be dy by dt. Differentiating 5e to the power t gives us back 5e to the power t. But t is the minus 2x. So I'll put that in. And now we need to do 
dt by dx. So differentiate minus 2x with respect to x gives us minus 2. And so what we end up with is minus 10 e to the power minus 2x. Or you could change that back to minus 10 over e to the power 2x. All right. Now, how do we do this last one? Well, much the same as you do this one up here. We see this as 4 thirds and then it would be e to the power all of negative of 5x minus 2. I'm going to expand that and that would be minus 5x plus 2. All right. It just saves me having minus all of the bracket 5x minus 2. So t now would be minus 5x plus 2. So therefore dy by dx is going to be equal to the differential of 4 thirds e to the power t with respect to t. So that's going to be 4 thirds e to the power t, e to the power then minus 5x plus 2. I'll put that all in brackets and we multiply all of this by dt by dx. So we differentiate minus 5x plus 2 with respect to x. That gives us minus 5. Tidy up and we end up with negative 4 times the 5 is 20. So you've got 20 over 3 and then e to the, all the power minus 5x plus 2. Or you could write this as e to the power negative and then in brackets 5x minus 2. That's up to you. Okay. Okay, well I hope that's given you some idea now on differentiating functions like this.